What is up, everyone? Hope you guys are having a fantastic night. Hopefully you enjoyed all the sports ball that happened today, or whatever sport that is that you enjoyed. Uh, and I hope you guys are ready to go ahead and get your minds absolutely blown. PTSD activated and depression obtained. We're going to be continuing on Operation 21. We'll go ahead and see how that turns out. My guess is probably not well. So last night, obviously, we left off at a pretty pivotal turning point. Uh, we found out that 40,000 of these beta have been pretty much just camping in the hive and decided to go rogue. So they're charging out at every which way direction. And the diversion rate, as you could, the, the diversion unit, as you can see that over there on the left, is attrition's hitting 55%. That's atrocious. But you see VFA-01, no one's dead yet. And that's what matters. Unit losses have hit 55%. Well, I'm fixing on the mic a little bit. Alright, hopefully that sounds a little bit better. The 16th Royal Guard Battalion has been sent for an emergency backup and is struggling to maintain the Takase Sawane line. Echo unit losses are at 37%. Um, something similar I'm probably going to do to last night. To keep the pace going and to keep the hype up, uh, I'm just going to pretty much respond to the military callouts. There's so much stuff going on anyways in the background that it's hard to read all of it. So, yeah, except uh, you guys might have to read a little bit, but I'll, I'll do my best to, to give a TLDR. That's right, 0% casualties. Well, the top secret unit isn't even out here yet. それ以前に他の前線に回すべき支援砲撃をあの地域に集中させた上での数字であるかと忘れない。いやいや。そうにしても、戦闘量産型にしてこの数字大した
命する将兵を現じることも叶いましょうなあの OS の発案者も提督と同じことを言っていましたわ新型 OS の発案はクシレご自身のものではいいそのものは今あそこで戦っていますなんともしやそのものは先ほどの陽動で20体以上の宝刀球を短期で倒した兵士ですから申し訳ありませんが帝都これ以上はお話できかねます失礼したその兵士もボルタネイティブ4の秘密というわけですがご想像にお任せいたします副司令 A02 最終シーケンスに入りました鈴宮Yeah, just for the sake of、uh, immersion, I'll read off Taku's voice lines, but、uh, military calls, stuff like that, I'll just kind of leave as is, I think. Hey, it's up to you guys. She looks like a beta in this picture. It'll take more than just the beta, it'll take a rogue Sumiko to wipe out the human race. Thank you very much. See, obviously, like, and right now, voice lines are kind of impossible to read, it's just very chaotic. Oh, 60 seconds until Sumiko arrives. All right. All right, evacuate within 90. Look at them beta just vibing. It's here, Sumiko. She's finally here. All right, switch to Arrowhead 2 and fall back full speed. Wait, we haven't got all the hefty lasers yet. Right, Roger. A02, you're in the course of Shinko. You're the home making a hold and get to you. You're the beta good. Is this in culture? You raise a human. I'm sure that won't come back. So then you stem. この短時間に40体以上撃破したのだから12 remaining? That's a nothing burger A02 レーザー照射受けています照射圏8最高出力まであと4秒あー All right. Well, look at that thing. She's just tanking it. It's, it's deflecting. Are you kidding? Look at he got the admiral in the back doing the pogfish, bro. Oh, we got an animated cutscene. Are you kidding me? I thought it was already hype. Alright, sue me, Curl. Let's see what you could do. Did she just take out the forking hive? This guy. Everyone's just stuck doing the pog. Are you kidding? This is Maya's face in the cockpit. It's what? It that one tapped it? Bruh. Oh, look at him. Alright,
<laughs> He's just sitting there stunned. It it took one shot? It took out everything in a single shot? It eradicated all the beta on the surface too. <laughs> Bro, that's unfair. Assuming has the human cheat code. She calls that a, a bonus? That's that's what the zero zero unit is really capable of. Sumika. The song is hype too. Sumika, I hope you're okay in there. You're not getting another headache, right? What, what do we really need to be eyes peeled out for? We just smoked him. What do we need to resupply for? The hive's gone. She just one tapped a forking hive. I had to throw in my assault rifle during that the last diversion, so since my sword is almost worn out, I could use this resupply. Ah, uh, ALMs, right? I guess she's on the airing on the side of caution. I don't see much reason to have anti-laser missiles when the Susan O. I've never, uh, I don't know what gun best for is, I'm gonna be honest with you. She's there on the side of caution, don't see too much of an anti-laser missile when the Susano's already obliterated everything. Right. She probably just wants us to be prepared. When the Suzano is firing, it has only the Rutherford fields directly below and behind it for stabilization. We need to ensure no beta get near it when it's vulnerable. I've got to keep Sumiko alive at all costs. Dang! I just got the three bot special. We are really hitting the big leagues now. I can see how Sumika going rogue might cause some uh, small issues. Oh, okay. I guess that's a good point. The hive still is intact. She only just blew up this the uh, stab. She's telling you guys she looks like a beta. She's a half beta. But she is right. You can't really brag about being, uh, you know, talked about in history when uh, your entire species is about to go extinct in uh, about a year. You got two minutes until AO2 fires. I mean, what does it even matter? They're going for a secondary shot? Are you kidding? 
That monument was a looming ever-present symbol of beta dominance and it got obliterated. In an instant. But that's not the only thing it wiped away. Oh, also looks like we have resupplied. First lieutenants all broke out in cheers. May I nominate? They cried! That attack blew away every last trace of despair and hopelessness that had been slowly eating away at our hearts and our minds. I am sure everyone involved in this operation are just as enjoyed as the first lieutenants, or just on the verge of tears like Mei and Ayamine. It's only natural, everybody in this world has been living in constant fear of the beta. The threat of an extinction has always been on the doorstep. But anyone who just witnessed what happened right now would have to agree humanity now, finally, stands a fighting chance. Chances are the people who witnessed Operation Lucifer in 1999 became the supporters of Alternative 5 because they believed G-bombs were humanity's last hope. But now I can understand why they felt that way. But today, with just a single shot, the Suzano has debunked the myth that they've been propagating since the G-bombs were the only way that we'd ever stand a chance. This will give Alternative 4 supporters a better leg to stand on in negotiations and reflect quite positively. And it's a huge blow to the Alt-5 proponents. All I've got left to do now is for Sumika to get a successful reading in on the Hive. Alright, we got fire in 10 seconds. It's unbelievable. No matter how long I stare, I'm not ga I can't stop gawking. I knew what to expect from Sensei's explanation, but seeing it in action, this is a different beast. The place where the monument used to stand has been completely erased, reduced to a crater that's spitting out in thick black smoke. It's like that of a volcano. Don't get me wrong, seeing Mount Tangan erupt from up close was amazing too, but this is far more fearsome. This isn't the awesome power of Mother Nature we're witnessing here. This is a highly controlled, man-made force of destruction. That thought alone is enough to send a chill down my spine. Speaking of Mount Tangan, no! Oh. Bruh, are you kidding me? More editing work I gotta do tonight. <sighs> Why does this always happen? What the hell was that back there? Was it just a normal erotic fantasy or did something really happen between us? Based on what Yuko told me in the other world, I apparently lost a huge chunk of memories every time I looped back to square one. Her theory was that by transferring between worlds, I was able to retrieve some kind of these scattered memories. If that's the case, maybe that was an actual memory. Which would imply that, just as long as I've been rewriting history in this timeline, there may have been other timelines in which I experienced completely different events. Yeah, this one was even shorter than the last one, though. Forget it, this is no time to be thinking about quantum nonsense. I'll worry about this once the operation's done. I've gotta say, even as an outsider in this world, I was really relieved to see that the cannon's just as powerful as its advert. Huh? Gravity... Gravity deviation alert? I don't know how, to be honest. A buddy of mine set this up for me, because he was the one who got me the game. I don't know how to uninstall it, but if I did, I would have done it. <laughs> Wait, what the hell? Gravity deviation? What? Did something happen? Huh? What's going on? The anti-gravity drives erratic? I'm sure she's Daijobu, just a... Uh... Is Suzano crash landed? Please tell me nothing happened to her. And before brain intestines on the wall. Take defensive position. 
So we can please be okay. We're not finding any abnormalities. Yeah, what do? Plan G? How many do we, are we A through Z here? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I thought plans A through D had to deal with Sumi Curve. And now you're just gonna go ahead and change that? Someone's encrypted channel. Hey, Sensei. What the hell? What's going on? Huh? Emergency restart. Did she shut down? Could you... You don't need to watch your words. I'm in an empty control room. So what happened to her? We're, we're trying to go ahead and attempt to restart the engine, not the zero zero unit. Well, okay, that's a relief. She's not in good shape, though. She's in safe mode. What? What the hell? Safe mode. She's, she's unconscious. Uh, I always get so emotional whenever Simika gets involved. Sensei's contacting me directly because I'm the only one here who knows the true nature of the 00 unit. She probably got special orders from me. I can't be wasting her time with these pointless questions. So what do you want me to do then? You need to retrieve 00 unit and evacuate? Well, the actually had a commission to cockpit on the safest place, so she wants me to put her in the safety harness, but what about the Susan O? We'll have it self-destruct? The Susan O is humanity's greatest weapon, and you're just gonna throw it away? We're gonna- people will just go back to promoting Alternative 5. But your mistake in the greatest weapon is actually the zero unit. But if we need all that to get back to base, can we just put it on autopilot? It's not accepting remote commands. Then how are we gonna self-destruct it? I have assumed you input the command manually. But then couldn't she just also restart the engine? Yeah, humans can't operate it though. So then we could just put it on autopilot. Save questions for later. I'm bringing her in now. This was going so well. So why did she say that earlier? It does make sense though. There's no reason to blow it up right away. Come to think of it, she did say that we'd only resort to that if all else fails. I seriously need to work on this jumping to conclusions thing. The main hatch, that's right above the base of Tsubasano's head. So the entire block seat will turn into an elevator. 
それもダメならラダーで降りていくしかない It's almost 30 meters straight down to the cockpit, so in the worst case scenario, we'd have to carry some into the bag all the way up. Alright, once we have her, we're gone. So I'm just gonna west over, go west over land and then fly even further to Yuko's ship. Couldn't I just fly straight back to the mainland? I know this is an emergency, but isn't it a bit too risky to attempt a 22, 20 minute stealth flight? Oh, nice. If we detonate the AO2, the entire west coast of Japan will be hit by a tsunami. So the explosion is bigger than an S11. Why do I get the feeling that she's only made a point of saying it just to keep me from nagging about it? Probably because that's exactly why she did it. I already flipped out on her twice since the transmission began. Can't say I don't deserve it though. I have a feeling this is going to end badly. I, I just do. What if that battery gets kicked on, she's going to get splattered across the inside. Yeah, if, she, if that drive starts. Can I? Dude, if you could find like an article or a, a what do page on how to do it, if you want to link it, that would be fantastic. Because if that's the case, then I'll just go ahead and do that um, right after the stream tonight. Um, because I didn't even think that you could. So that's what was happening. Well, we can't say for certain, but it's a pretty plausible theory. If they capture this thing before it blows up, can't they just disable the timer? Perfect, thank you so much. I will go ahead and actually save that right now. Forget Nightbot, he doesn't matter. Alright, let me go ahead and save that real quick. Alright, perfect. Thank you so, so much. I'm going to go ahead and do that then after the stream ends tonight. Alright, so the sequence is going to push the, the drive to the point that it goes out of control. That's just how G-bombs work. Which draining the, neuro the neutron moderator to fix rate gives us enough time to escape before it reaches critical mass. It's not going to be a movie finish. All right. To be sure, though, if the beta can stop the drive from losing control, the XG70 will be there. And that's not necessarily impossible either. This is going to explode with 20 G bombs worth of force. If that happens, this is just going to bolster the argument to use G bombs. Alternative 4 might give its fiercest opponents a huge helping hand. 
ありませんでは早速取り掛かってちょうだい5分後にプラン G を発令するから舞台ブリーフィングはそれまでに済ませて、right, 了解頼んだわよよし私はブリーフィングにかかる貴様はゼロゼロユニット回収の準備をしろカピー Sumika's life may not be in danger, but something definitely must have happened to her. She's never lost consciousness like that. There's no point in thinking about this now, though. I've got to get ready. Central computer, huh? Well, okay, I guess that's one way of putting it. Everyone seems really tense. They responded just fine, but it wasn't just like anything before. All that excitement's been completely drained. We had the very thing our hopes were all riding on snatched away only moments after we saw into the fruition. I don't think anyone would be as miserable under the circumstances presented. Yeah, I'm ready to begin retrieval. Alright, copy. Roger. Alright, I've gotta get Sumiko. I've gotta make sure Sumiko's okay. Let's end this. I wanna see that our IRG people again. They were, they were insane. M42用を転送して了解ゲート右手に埋没式のハンドルがあるからそれを90度回してから引き出しなさいそこにコンソールがあるわコンソール確認しました定常に稼働しています今機密解除命令が暗号を転送したはそっちのコード表と照合して12
was just taking it back. I didn't mean to stick my nose in confidential matters, huh? What is she so worried about? Just that she found out that Sumika's a zero zero unit? I mean, I know she tries to follow protocol to a T, but it's really not that big of a deal. No, I've got her. Just focus on activating that autopilot system. We don't want to lose a Suzano, right? Take care of her. We're counting on you. Roger. Huh? Oh, God. What the hell? We've killed so many. Is there really that many alive? Do we have a projection? This ringing is just the stuff of nightmares. Oh, and here comes the alarm. <sighs> Not like this. Roger, all right. What? Yeah, it is. It's when Sumika gets mad, this song plays. Song. Alarm. It's only when it's like Sumika's anger meter goes up. It's just complete comic relief. Several heavy laser class and four classes are on your evac route. Then we've got to get out of here ASAP. Yeah, you hear that alarm, you see my heart rate go up. It's not kidding. That, that alarm is stuff of nightmares. We're out of anti-laser weapon or rounds. Of course, I see why everyone says numbers are the greatest weapon. Where you think your evac route? Oh, buddy, we don't have an hour. Yeah, exactly. Bro, what is up with this? This is like the a fifth bot tonight. We're really getting uh we're really getting in now. This arc has been a ride. I feel like we've been winning and then we just lose, and then we win and then we lose. But now I just feel born to lose. Absolutely. No, I want off. I want off this wild ride. 
I have a feeling more and more people are gonna die. It's like if you're on a roller coaster and you think it's just like, oh, it's it's been pretty bad, it's been rough, and then you look up and you see that you're about to go for a steep, steep decline. That's about where I feel on this ride. I can hear the chains bringing me up higher just to know that I'm gonna be dropped. He's going to sacrifice his own fleet. いわゆる現代の戦艦には対レーザー近接防御システム、厚い耐熱対談装置、そして艦隊データリンク制御の自動砲塔が数多くあります。照射を受けても即座にその源を探知し撃破すれば、そうやすやすと沈められることはありません。大型コンピューターを積んでいますので、陽動としても最適でしょう。確かにそうですよね。いずれにせよこのままでは七浦海岸沖のウイスキー回収艦隊は狙い撃ちです。そして福島への岩への最悪のケースを想定するなら、足の
結局ルートに変更はないわ2人ともさっき説明した手順で私のところまで来なさい Alright, we're sticking to the original route. So we're just gonna charge through them? This is all for Sumika. I'll do anything it takes to bring her back. What, battleships? The whole area is swarming with heavy laser class. And they've agreed to create the diversion. I know these ships are heavily armored, but going head to head with heavy lasers? That's absurd. Yeah, we're out of anti laser shells and we're not waiting for resupply. It does make sense. They weren't planning for us to go ahead and need artillery support earlier since there was more beta than anticipated. They drained their ammo stores faster than the resupply schedule had provisions. Looks like we're out to sea. We'll have our afterburners running at full blast. We'll make for a quick escape, but from a fuel fan point, we'll standpoint we'll be cutting it real close. Yeah, so every second I waste means more than that. Yeah, I'm assuming so. Oh, I don't get another flash. シロガネ機の海上到達を確認次第、安全装置を解除し、爆破行動を入力しなさい。X-T70を放棄して直撃機とともに中隊と合流したら、そのまま戦線を離脱。シロガネと同じルートを通りここまで来る。シロガネが動
おそらく第二戦線の優先が見えているはずです<笑>支援砲撃のない撤退を強いられるかの者たちにとってそのすぐに<笑>マノワン周辺地域の重金属運濃度急速に低下中アベコンここからが少年成功の A テロ案旧核軍事で中隊規模のベータ軍と交戦中第二戦隊所定のエリアへ接近スズミはバルケリーマメホリバルケリーズ作戦に変更なし繰り返す作戦に変更なし中華なしろがね発進準備だゼロゼロユニットを頼んだぞ Alright I'll take Sumika the XG70 is up to you ギリギリまで手を尽くしてみるこいつはぜひとも持ち帰りたいからな Just don't do anything crazy alright わかっている柏木三剣発進準備だ号令に備えろ了解三剣白金のおもり頼んだよああそなたこそ A02 と隊員の直営くれぐれもよろしく頼むぞ回収するにしろ爆発させるにしろ A02 でハイブをなんとかできればそれに越したことはないからね Either way, watch my back out there, alright? Not that you need me to tell you that. <laughs> what the hell? Yuko gave you orders to leave someone behind in order to help guard the Susano. But it's a squadron sized herd, right? I doubt they have any trouble holding off a beta herd of that size, assuming there's not any heavy lasers or forts. So she's trying to take preventative measures. Oh, I guess that's captain for you. I think that's probably the best idea, too.、Uh, they spent millions of dollars in time on that thing.、Uh, they're just going to leave it to a band. They might as well try and protect it. Yeah, and a Sumi would be forked. May is worried about leaving both the Susano and Captain Defenseless, right?、Uh, if only we could tell her about the Zero Zero unit, I'm sure she'd change her mind. Kashiwagi is going to go with the flow as per usual. I don't think she could care less where she gets a sign. だから Yeah, you can't really argue with that. This war first Lieutenant Munakata or Hayase we were talking about would be a different story, but leaving one of them behind would jeopardize the safety of the rest of the squadron. Do you know what May has been going through? There's no way Tsukiyomi would have told you, is there? My heart rate is rising. The Sumi is going to self sacrifice 
Efficient death? I can't imagine anyone but Captain putting it that way. あれ、おかしいな。何事も非常に真面目に取り組んでるのに。この I don't really think May has got the capacity to start acting like Kashiwag, and I'm sure Captain Asumi knows that too. She only said it because we're backed into a corner right now. Same reason that she took the time to explain logic behind her orders. We're, when we're already starting to feel desperate, it's not going to ease our anxiety to give us orders we can't comprehend. Chances are the Captain's uh, taking that into consideration here because she's aware of May's identity. Seeing a powerhouse like the Susano brought up a matter, brought down a matter of seconds, must have had a, or had a huge impact on all of our morale. Japan was one step from ridding themselves of a hive, and then it fell apart. Everyone's shaken up, and I'm sure May has taken it harder than anyone, given how deeply connected she feels to her highness. On top of that, over half of Whiskey's been killed, so I'm sure she's got Lieutenant Tsukiyomi on her mind. Speaking of which, wasn't the captain's sister in Whiskey too? I bet you she's worried as well. <laughs> ま、We'll be waiting for you back on, Mo on the Mogami. Yeah, right. Chomp Kun, no! ガンブ走行の we can't go around. The longer we take, the more we put second squadron at risk. We've got to charge. Oh, hi, Sumiko at the bottom right of the screen. She's vibing in the corner. The whole route swarming with beta. The whole captain made the right call. Oh, look at the look at the radar at the top left. That's kind of epic. Oh, that looks like a few more than 19. That's kind of a cool CG on the right. How, how big is a brigade size?
I feel my heart rate rising. You think that Sumika is vibing? The beta popping up all over the place. Of course, we're not moving fast enough. What's going on? They're multiplying. There are beta everywhere, and that's not the worst of it. What? The beta from the region moving south, you'll be charging headfirst into lasers. The beta are co congregating towards the south of the island? What the hell? These numbers can't be right. Hold on a second, the beta are headed straight for the Susano. All right. Well, we're 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 suicide bombing it. Not the alarm. Oh no. He tur he's turning off his uh, traction control. Huh? Kashiwagi. You got hit? Oh, it's sunny in Philadelphia theme starts. Can you imagine Atama gets killed too? Maybe that's why that super long interlude that I made fun of on the ship happened, because these people are about to die. It's the characters that talk to him that are the ones about to get smoked. Alright, as long as it's not fatal, Kashiwagi, we gotta keep going. Just keep up. Kashiwagi, what are you doing? Oh, no. No! You're gonna have to go on without me. What are you talking about? If you're in that bad of a shape... What the hell? You're fine. What are you doing? The damage was serious then. No! But yeah, Maya has a has a car seat. You're fine. No.
I'll miss you, Kashiwagi. I wish they could have taken Akane instead. No. Maintain present course. If you go back for Kashiwagi, you're not going to make it to the Mogami. You didn't give us much of a choice in the decision, did you? Kashiwagi, keep Captain R alive, okay? Be careful about that propellant consumption, okay? It's not Daishobu. It's only like five miles. ジュンジ補給に入っているから、事実に間を詰められているのが現状。安全装置の解除までは行きましたが、例によって被爆プログラムが立ち上がりません。こちらでモニターするためにすべて最上なんです。先ほどから、こちらで見たわけなんですが、
First Lieutenant! Hayase saves the day. Her marker's off. Didn't realize she was coming. Oh, nope. Tomase! Nice! Tama! We made it, it, it. Maybe. Nine hundred seconds. That's uh. No, just kidding. That's like uh. Fifteen minutes. The Vinky? No. New song in the background. We'll never forget you, Captain. That's a good question. It's on the sad part. Goodbye, Abe. We'll never forget you. Sentinel 
もっと早くこの決断をすべきでした<笑>有能な部下をむざむざ死なせなければならない己の二能が口を知らない状況は申し訳ありません被爆プログラムは依然沈黙していますそうこっちの話は聞こえていたわね第二戦隊がウイスキーエコー部隊の撤退をイスミどうしたの高度救急1発生第一地中からベータが A0 通周辺から軍団規模のベータ軍が出現中It just keeps going from bad to worse. Oh, my God. We already got. The, we're already、uh, midway through the Hearts of Iron mod. We see the English translation. The Tomboy GF. Oh no! My song! So, this is why this song is haunting to people. I'm feeling black pilled, lads. I'm herded in.
Yeah, but earlier this was the epic song. I thought this was the monologue song. Now it's just the the black pilled song. しかし、ご安心ください。指揮の指導制御は確保。A03の主機再起動を確認。カルータクライン第4計画実動の中軸。いいも悪いもございませんが、これが最良の可能性を秘めた未来なのです。最良の可能性を秘めた未来。第2戦隊マノアを離脱。損害人大なるぞ。全艦健在。こちらの話です。第2環境で核部隊の撤退の指揮に当たります。何かありましたら、ウェビ。提督。一つお願いがあるのですが。何でしょう。先生。こっちよ。白金。I went down to the CIC but Lieutenant Piak told me you'd find me here. ちょっと ユニットは? Right, can't be talking about the Zero Zero unit without prying eyes. Uh, since the Senate of Suzumi is here, I should probably still watch what I say. Your for your instructions, she's connected to the maintenance so, advice. The advice. Wait, that's it? You're not gonna go take a look at it? The number's already coming out on the monitor. How could you get anything out of a bunch of unlabeled numbers? Well, I guess I could understand them on site, so could Suzumiya. So, how's it looking? Nothing too serious. In other words, if her life's not in danger and her memories are safe and sound, that's pretty much exactly what she told me earlier. But it sounds a lot like I'm just reassuring now that she's looking at an actual readout from a maintenance bed. Once AO2 self-destructed, You'll take her back to the base. So I take it we couldn't get the autopilot working then after all, hey? But why would we be transporting it via TSF? I have no idea how much damage the explosion will do. I go in by sea would take 20 hours. Flying would still be, though. With the Settle Gashima Hive gone, we can now be safe. So the self destruct sequence is a good to go? Well, that's our markers turned off because of those potential saboteurs, so I've been pretty worried. It's all set. So the captain and Kashiwagi are on their way then? Isumi's still inside AO2, Kashiwagi was KIA. Kashiwagi died? How? No, no, that's not what I'm asking. Suzumiya. Lieutenant. They just popped up right there? So the mainland. So that's why we weren't bombarding the Susano itself. So that's why they came up below it. Well, 
Kashiwagi. What the hell? So much for leaving your comrades behind. This is the answer you came up with? We were trying to protect your family and all your comrades, Japan, humanity, the mission, everything, all at once. What happened to your cold-blooded cynic act? I thought you were different from everyone else in this world. Why'd you go out and die like a hero? Wouldn't that just make the beta then? So how do we get Asumi out of the AO2 unit then? Kishinoyodo the captain's gonna overload the engine herself? Carry out your mission at all costs, fight to your very last breath, and make your death count. I finally learned the true weight of our unit's motto, in the most painful way possible. I still wanted to learn so much from her. Sensei. She's right. We never would have been able to retake the hive, and we never would have known what Sumika's reading was if successful or not. Not to mention the fact that we would have been responsible for the beta invading the mainland. <laughs> Captain Asumi is giving her life to ensure alternative force continuation to protect the future of the human race. <laughs> Yep. I'm sorry. This is a song that played at the uh, at the end of the coup arc when it showed um, Irma's funeral. Ah. Flame of life. お邪魔じゃなければ部下との交信を許可するわ。え任務の性格上、それ以外には繋いであげられないんだけど。ですが、
そのような私的な行進は小沢提督をはじめ帝国側の指揮官たちからせめて部下との行進をって帝国軍がこのクソ忙しい中早瀬たちがいる国先とこの最上に優先の一区回線を引いてくれたの。あんたたちが周囲を気にせず心置きなく話せるようなね軍人として日本人として人類の一員としてささやかながらあんたにお礼がしたいそんなそのような厚遇は身にすぎます向こうが勝手に準備したんだからありがたく受けておきなさいそうともう一つあったわ何でしょう帝国陸軍第133連隊所属伊住明少尉の生還を認めなお、oh, sister survived そう<笑>ありがとうございます私に言われてもねこのような緊急時にもかかわらずもろもろ手を尽くしてくださった方々にお伝え分かったI'm gonna be a Sumi stuff. I mean, this is her last message after all. Oh, so I need a master. Naga, you didn't take up that name, Mr. Fuxide, no motto. Jindu no Mirai, you call can suit on you. A you are mean when you do this, I say that I can't see my shame. So you Thomas Reba, born you knew what that I wrote, what is no jinx in you. Talk with Naimi to catch you, I take it like Mr. 決して人様には自慢できない意味の価値だけど第四計画の完遂と人類の勝利をこの目で見届けられないことは心残りですが私が行くのは地獄だから二度と会うこともないわねマリモニーよろしく申し訳ありませんがそのことづてはお引き受けできませんね私の行く先も地獄ですからそれじゃあ私が行ったら道案内頼むわどうせ最下層なんだしめんどくさい手続きはごめんだからねわかりましたエンマや鬼どもは蹴散らしておきます<笑> Here I am watching someone who's on the verge of death laugh and joke about what it is for the person who put them in that position If I were looking at this through the eyes of someone from my own world I would have think both of these two have lost their mind But in this world, it's too common. And I'm sure the old me would have thrown a huge fit over the inhumanity of it all. I would have lost all respect for a sense I would have sat there cursing this cruel world and weeping over the captain's fate. I would have hated myself being so powerless and I would have fallen to a pit of despair. But that's not me anymore. I know now that the same sort of stuff happens every day back in my world, even if not in Japan. I know now that idly hoping for peace isn't enough to ensure it, even in a world without the beta. There are people out there putting themselves in mortal danger just to make that peace a reality for someone else. That's not to say what. They want to die, but they have families, friends, lovers of their own. So that's why they're willing to throw down their lives. It's something they alone can do, and I won't deny how noble that is ever again. But there's no doubt this is still painful. Death is a harsh reality. Whether it's your own, someone else's, even more so if it's someone close. I'm sure that it's no different for Yuko and Lieutenant Suzumiya, even if they've never let it show. There's no way they'd be fighting so hard against the beta if they didn't care about other people's lives. If she couldn't care less about the other people's lives, she never would have been drunk and bald her eyes out. ね。誰も問い合わせてないから好きに喋っていいわよ。いすみの指示で早瀬たちにもつながれたんでね。オッケー。鈴宮。私たちは CIC に戻り。はい。Wait、Yuko's leaving too? Alright, you got the zero zero unit to safety. Well done. Thank you, but、uh, how about you hanging in there? Oh god, what kind of a stupid question was that? You mean with the beta? Yeah, I'm fine that the engine's running. The Rutherford field's protecting me. Though I'm sure I wouldn't last long if I tried to actually pilot the thing. Yeah, that's for sure. Now that I'm talking to her for the last time, I have no idea what to actually say. I'm glad to hear your sister's okay. This song is a banger. 
Thank you, I do feel embarrassed that the exit went on the trouble for finding me that out for my benefit, though. It's not that the Empire who found out it- It was- it was the Empire, not Yuko, who found out. <laughs> you need to start seeing the bigger picture here. I'm sorry. Which means Yuko must have looked into it personally. It hurts to think that I've been given such special treatment compared to all the others who died in this operation, Akashiwagi included. I see. I guess that's true. I mean, you just saw right through her. Maybe it's less that she's trying to hide her feelings and more she doesn't really know how to express them. This isn't what I wanted to talk about. I'm honored that the XO and IJF would go, go, go to such lengths, but I don't deserve it. That's not true. Since I only did this because she knows how hard you fought, how hard you fought on Hey Mandy's behalf. And of course, the IJF would want to do something for you. You're saving countless lives right now. I've only spoken to her for a few minutes before I'll never be able to speak to her again. I have so much I want to say, but I can't find the words. After getting so many of my subordinates killed and being responsible for the deaths of countless people, I would have been more than happy just to use a granted meaningful death like this. Don't say that. You deserve all this and more. You're giving your life to save thousands. Well, that's where you're wrong. I'm not nearly as selfless as what you make me out to be. Thoughts taking up the most of space in my mind have nothing to do with the lives I'm going to save or the future of mankind. They're not related to Kashiwagi, they're not related to other subordinates. They're not about Jinkuji, the other people who died. She knew what Yuga was planning back then. What I'm thinking right now instead is the fact I'll never see uh, is that my sister's safe and the fact I'll never see her, my family, or the man I love ever again. At this moment, those petty, self-centered thoughts are the only things I could focus on. So what? You've been doing the alternative program's dirty work for years now. It doesn't matter if you were doing it for humanity, for comrades, for family. You did it. You got the job done. Same goes for Kashiwagi. She fought and died for the same reason. Sergeant Guji wasn't any different, but she devoted her life to her duties and shaped us to the people we are today. Doesn't matter what's at the forefront of your mind right now, your sacrifice is going to save thousands. Who cares if you're thinking about your family and loved ones in your final moments? What's wrong with that? I don't care what anyone says. I'll always respect you. And I think what you're doing is worthy of respect. Don't cry, don't cry. Take care of the unit for me. Share some of that strength of yours with the rest of the team. I'm not strong at all. You're strong enough. No, I'm not. And now it finally makes sense why I couldn't co comprehend the reason you're fighting. And why I could tell there was something so special about you. She said something about this last night. That zero zero unit test subject, that's the one you love, isn't she? You knew? Yeah. 
I pieced it together when I saw you rush over and call her name. Remember last night you slipped and told me the girl's name was Sumika. Oh, I didn't even realize it. I did slip because I knew the data link was off. Yeah, seriously. That's going to be elite. I can't even imagine the pain and suffering the two of you must be going through. If I were in your shoes, knowing the truth about the zero zero unit, I don't think I could have endured having to complete those missions. When I think about what you've been dealing with since the day you arrived, I could truly appreciate how strong you are. No, you're wrong. You're giving me way too much credit. I, I'm not even the talker from this world. I have no idea what kind of horrible things the two of us went through here. It doesn't matter if I don't have the whole picture. I can't tell you how I can tell you how hard it is for you by the way you act around her. I've never been wrong about romance before. And I'm not now, especially considering we both have are in love with our childhood friends, yeah. You know, at times I've caught a glimpse of how kind you are, how tender you are. I don't think I've ever met someone quite like you. That's just because I'm not from this world. I haven't learned to harden myself. I think you're plenty strong for not completely losing your innocence in spite of all the tragedies you've seen. Someone like me, that capacity for kindness is an enviable trait. What the hell? How is that enviable? That's the kind of character flaw that gets people killed. That innocence has caused so much pain and heartache for so many others. Your skills as a service pilot are truly unparalleled, I even say. You might just have what it takes to be the savior of mankind. You think I could be humanity's savior? But I wouldn't give for that to be true. I want to save this world and fix all the worlds I've screwed up. But I can't do it alone. That's why I need people like you and Junguji to lead on. No, they 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 won't. They don't awaken in another universe. Only the main character has memories of it because he's the casualty conductor. When she's gone, she's gone. Your performance in today's battle was nothing like that of a rookie. But it was all thanks to you. If I hadn't been for hypnotherapy, I'd still be shaking. What kind of savior is that? I can assure you... It had nothing to do with that hip- No, they're, they're, exactly, the soul is what's gone. Sorry about that. All we gave you back then was basic relaxation. So wait, the reason you went and talked to the therapist beforehand... I was giving you a placebo. There is no reincarnation. They just... The, it's just different timelines. So this timeline's rendition of the Sumi is going to die. I was planning to tell you that once the mission was over and I'm glad I got the chance. She was just trying to help me regain confidence. So you see, you've got literally nothing to be afraid of anymore. I guess I don't. Thanks, Captain. I mean, theoretically, yeah, but... This one's gone no matter what. I think we've gone on long enough. I have better say my goodbyes to the others. Once she cuts the signal, I'll never see her again. Thank you for everything. Don't cry. Come on, you're a man, aren't you? I'm sorry. There was so much more I wanted to learn from you. I'll be watching over you as all one of the cherry blossoms on that base, like all the brave soldiers who passed before me. If you ever need to talk, find me there. Save humanity for me, would you? I will, I swear I will. Goodbye, Captain.
I only wish I could have seen those cherry blossoms one last time. It's called that for a few reasons. Today, the Empire announced the destruction of the Sadogashima Hive and the entire country celebrating. It was a huge ceremony to honor all the soldiers who were killed. In stark contrast, we've only been allowed to hold a private ceremony. We've got nothing but these trees for graves and no bodies to bury. That's the most we're permitted to mourn our dead, given our positions as members of Alternative 4. Tomorrow's ceremony is meant to give the general populace the impression that Operation 21 was a huge success. They say it's a memory of the fallen soldiers, but they won't be given a proper burial. Sadogashima is gone. It's wiped off the map, and with it the corpses of Captain Asumi, Kashiwagi, and all of those else who killed were killed in action. I regret that I have to leave when there's still work to be done, but I know I could count on you to finish what we started. I'm confident you all worked twice as hard in my absence to assist in humanity's victory and the completion of Alternative 4. はい。お任せください。部下を仕事の さ、<笑> さま。はい。申し訳ありません。
姉さんを早く安心させてやれついでに早瀬もなはい大変ありがとうございました榊はい貴様はもう少し肩の力を抜くことを覚えろそうすれば本来持っている能力が世を結ばせたそれは英子としてだけではなく貴様の人生のいかなることにおいても必ずプラスになるはい貴様を見ていると昔の自分を思い出すえ私と同じ鉄を踏まないでもいいよくやれ太尉短い間でしたがお世話になりましたヨロイはい貴様の明るさは舞台の財産だどんな時もそれを失わないでほしいありがとうございますただ普段の貴様はマイペースすぎる時には人の話をじっくり聞くことも重要だぞはい同じポジションの風間からいろいろなことを学べいいなタイありがとうございましたあやみね貴様は一見冷静に見えるがとても激しく熱い心を秘めているな貴様はそれを見せることが弱さや好きだと思っているのだろう人がお互いに理解を深めるには本音や内面をさらけ出すことも大切な場合がある<笑>人に頼るのも頼られるのもそう悪いことではないぞはい感情をコントロールできることは素晴らしいスキルだそれをもっとうまく使うお世話になりましたたませ他人を思いやり何よりも和を重んじる貴様は人間として立派だと思うだが貴様は他人を気にするあまりいざ自分が注目される状況になると萎縮してしまっているように思えるはい貴様は少しわがままを言うくらいがちょうどいいあるがままの自分を相手に認めてもらえば楽になるはずだ、はい、三剣貴様に言いたいことはさっき散々伝えたはい常に斧が戒めとしますよしでは思い出話に尽きる私にはとてもよくできた姉がいてな明るくおおらかな姉にコンプレックスを抱いていた私は彼女との心の距離を聞き冷めた態度で接していた今を思い返すとあの頃の私は姉のようになろうと必死にもがいていたことがわかる私は私でいいんだということに気づいてやっと心から姉に向き合えるようになったんだ<笑>つまらない話を聞かせてしまったな達者でやれ大尉お世話になりましたひろがねはいせっかく貴様に教えてもらった温泉作戦結構できず無念だその代わり貴様は必ずあの命令を遂行しろ必ず今までの償いをしますよしあとは頼むぞはい Rest easy, Captain. I'm not gonna break down and cry anymore. I'm gonna stop relying on others to help get me back on my feet. Don't you worry, Kashiwagi. We're gonna wipe out every last beta from the fate of your Earth, and your brothers will never have to set foot on this battlefield.
20分前の衛星画像よ佐渡島だった場所のね<笑> It's completely gone. 見ての通り爆心から半径4 0キロの空間がきれいさっぱり吹き飛んだわ。The Phase 4 Hive has a max depth of 1.2 km, a max horizontal radius of 10. The entire stab is in the explosion. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and end it there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in.、Um, more looks like I got some more editing work to do before this goes up on YouTube if you want to go ahead and rewatch it. What a ride that arc was. Thank you guys again. See you back here tomorrow.